good morning beautiful people welcome back to another day in the life <sighs> i just got out the shower today will be fun because i have quite a bit of stuff to do so yeah let's get dressed and put some oatmeal on because breakfast <laughs> and it takes a little while I always eat steel cut oats y'all know that and it takes about 25-30 minutes for them to like soften and boil down so I just used the wand and then I bobby pinned it down a little um because it was just it was doing too much and then I'm gonna wear just a simple white tee with some jeans and some little clunky shoes I might wear a little blazer um so that's that let me go iron and then I'll see you guys when I'm done getting dressed and I'm eating breakfast hi Megan it's Aaron how are you Oh, I'm good. How are you? Good. Alright, so I just ate my breakfast. Um, I didn't have much time to actually read while I was eating because I had to hop on a quick call that I forgot to hop on, that I forgot to make on Friday, which I was supposed to. Um, now I'm done with my oatmeal, it's time to head out. Alright, so, shoes. Let's quickly do the top three, um, before I head out the door so we can know exactly what's going to happen today. I need to erase this top three off. Y'all, I swear by doing a top three. And a lot of you guys have started doing top threes and saying, telling me that it's really helping with your productivity. Sorry, you can't see me. Um, so I'm really happy to hear that this method is working. Um, I still do to-do lists. I still do time blocking. But I find that just writing out your top three priorities for the day and getting them done is super effective. So... Let's do that really quickly. First thing, I have 11.30 meeting. Um, I also need to um, record, but I probably won't record today. Record videos, finalize questions for my eBrand master class tonight so those are my top three for today i'm about to head to the first one so let's get going all right this is what i look like got this little blazer white t-shirt i love these little chunky heels they're by sam edelman they are so comfortable they give me a little height especially when i go to meetings uh, potential clients I like to wear heels um, and be a little bit more dressy because I feel like it garners a little more respect I'll wear jeans I don't have a problem wearing jeans but I do like to wear heels and be a little more polished so let's get going I can help you out I can help you out I can help you out So I got a chai tea latte. It done got hot out here. Jesus. It was with a potential client. And I have to send over some pricing because it sounds like we are going to work together. But the bottom line is always the bottom line. I 
did want to quickly share with you guys what I discussed in my in my consultations. We talk about the scope of work. I always ask, you know, about the company, about um, the, t the direction that they're going in, some of their goals, what their target audience is. And some consultations go a little differently because the client already knows exactly what they want. So they basically wanna know more about me and my work process and how things flow from my side of the business. So it kind of depends. Some clients want more of me explaining um, what I do and how I can help them execute their vision and some clients have no vision and they want my creative expertise as well so it really just depends on the scope of the project um, the type of client it is I find that smaller businesses need a lot more direction while more of the corporate or larger businesses um, they tend to already have in mind what they want and they just want to execute it in a great way so um, it just really depends but this meeting was definitely um, kind of equal like he wants um, he, he knows what he wants for uh, the company but he also wants me to insert any you know creative he also wants me to insert some fresh perspective. Um, I have a lot of knowledge on social media marketing and also um, on video storytelling and video marketing. That is what my business is. It is a video production and social media marketing company. So um, yeah, I'm just so excited. Like this was such a good meeting and I'm gonna go and do a proposal for it. I'm not gonna do that today though. I have so many other things to do today um, but I just kind of wanted to let you guys in on how a consultation usually goes getting to know the person but also um, getting to know the scope of work becoming familiar with that I take notes um, and then I come home and I draw up a little proposal so that is how it goes now I'm gonna go home and um, and probably record some YouTube videos and and um yeah do whatever is on my to-do list so let's head home and get the rest of the day going oh tomorrow you could take pictures oh yeah i could here we go here we go again time is up and i'm calling up my friends ain't no wonder why ain't no wonder why to here we go here we go again call me up and you want to be my friend Okay guys, so I just ate lunch. I have to record a quick video to send to the news station, which is Fox 2 News in Detroit. The station is doing a 30th anniversary for a organization that I was a part of. So it's called the Emma Bowen Foundation and basically they um, place minorities who are interested in media in these big media companies. All right, so. Three, two, one. My name is Erin Winters. Oh wait, let me do a sound check. My name is Erin Winters and the Emma Bowen Foundation, da 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 da. All right. My name is Erin Winters and I was Fox 2's Emma Bowen student from 2012 to 2016. And the program was absolutely incredible. Being a part of the Emma Bowen Foundation literally changed the trajectory of my life. Right now, as a career, I am an entrepreneur. I have my own digital marketing and video production company. And really being a part of the program set the foundation that I needed to be where I'm at now. All right, so now that that's done, uh, I am trying to figure out if I'm gonna do the masterclass tonight in Zoom or on Facebook Live. I'm leaning toward Zoom. I do all of my video calls on Zoom because I just find it's the most easy, the most professional. Um, and they have a webinar feature and you can broadcast the webinar on Facebook Live, which I think is great because my eBrand Club is um, hosted on Facebook in a Facebook group so um, it has been working really well you guys this club is the truth if you are looking to 
um, build your brand, grow your business. Um, we do monthly master classes. Tonight's master class is featuring my mom. She is the first one. We just started the eBrand Club. Um, at the beginning of July. She is the first masterclass, which I'm so excited about because so many of you guys and them in the group have been wanting to know like, how do I manage my finances? Um, how do I make sure I stay organized? How do I make sure I hit my financial goals? And um, just how to manage your money in your business. And I think this is gonna be a first, a great first masterclass because this really is the foundation of building your business is knowing how to manage your money within your business. So, like I said, in the club, monthly masterclasses, we do, um, I give like tips of the day. We go live a lot where they can ask me questions about their business. I do Instagram audits, YouTube audits, where I'm going on to um, YouTube channels and giving them live personalized feedback or Instagram feedback on um you know how I think they can implement some better strategies. Um and it's just a very engaging group. Like the people in this group are so engaged. We have a book that we're reading together um, that is incredible. So it's just been such a good experience. The people in the group are absolutely loving it. So if you are interested in learning more in-depth branding strategies, um, looking for a community to um, hold you accountable, to push you, to help you reach those goals, um, and just the community of like-minded people who are just trying to take their business and their brands to the next level. The eBrand Club is open. There's no cap on how many people can be in it. So if you are interested in that, it is only $20 a month. And I think it is a great investment. And from the people who are in the group, they seem to really, really be loving it and getting a lot out of it. So, um, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know you know exactly what the club is so yeah so tonight is our first master class i'm really excited my mom is a little bit nervous because she's not <laughs> she's not the most comfortable on camera even though she does an incredible job like she's so great okay we are almost ready for the first ebrand club master class financial organization and bookkeeping and business featuring my very own mother andrea winter say hi mom hi <laughs> cannot stress it enough if my mom said if your books are not in order your business is not in order whether you do your bookkeeping yourself or you hire a bookkeeper it is just very 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 important so if you're talking about the main categories for bookkeeping, it would be assets, liabilities, um, equity, expenses, um, revenue, and expenses. A lot of times, I would recommend if you are going to get an accountant or a bookkeeper or a financial advisor, skew to someone who is niched in small business accounting or bookkeeping. Like, you want to go to someone who is a small business oriented or entrepreneur oriented bookkeeper or accountant because they are going to be much more sensitive to your small little pockets. OK, so they are more budget friendly. They know the types of things you can write off. They know, you know, they're they have experience with working with people with smaller accounts. First master class is done. It went so well. My mom did really, really well. She was a little nervous at first, but she did a great job. I mean, like, it was loaded with information. Yeah. Oh, Lord. I was like, no, let me do good. You did so good, Mom. <laughs> Sean, Sean, didn't she do good? Yeah, that's just going like, wow, no. She did a great job. Oh, I mean, I, I got one note. Well, I mean, I'm going to use these notes, too. Mm -hmm. So we answered your question, because I saw your question. Yeah, you ended up answering it. it. Um, I kind of was wondering whether or not, like, when do you, like, pay yourself? But Aaron kind of answered it. Like, oh. You're just using it, like, it's you at this point. Like, but you just take out like a little bit per month and do whatever you gotta do. Everybody who is in the masterclass, 
was like this was so informative oh that's right this was so informative and um my mom gave some amazing takeaways so um i finished let's see what i finished for the day what time is it? It's 9.17 and I'm still sitting at this desk. So I went to my meeting. I didn't record videos today, um, but I'm going to do that tomorrow. And then I, I did the master class. That was like the big thing for the day. Um, and yeah, success. So I don't beat myself up too much when I don't get all three of my top three done because a couple other things like recording the video for... Um, the Emma Bowen Foundation was something that I ended up having to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and schedule some Instagram posts. Um, my Instagram engagement has been like doing really, really well. So if you're interested in following me on Instagram, you're more than welcome to. And then I'm also um, going to start piecing together this Instagram TV series that I'm going to roll out really soon and I'm so excited about it because it's going to be so good okay you guys I think I'm going to end the vlog here wait let's get a word from my mom it was good I had fun even though I was a little nervous but <laughs> hey they pushing me so I gotta do what I gotta do yes she did a really next good job time, I'll just keep getting better and better yes so if you are interested, my mom is taking clients right now. Um, her website is almost done, but if you're interested in using her services, where can they contact you? You can email me at aewinters11 at gmail.com. It is almost 9.30 and I haven't eaten dinner. So, you know, welcome to the life. And um, I'm actually gonna put a turkey burger and some potatoes in the oven. Um, and eat that really quickly so I'm gonna end the vlog here if you like this video give it a thumbs up you're more than welcome to subscribe and be a part of this amazing community um, if you are interested in joining the eBrand club the link is in the description box below do you want to say hi dad because my dad says he's never in the vlogs so introducing my dad to the YouTube channel Say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, so my parents, they've been married for 30 years, so they're pretty freaking great. Um, and a lot of people also ask me, like, why do you live in that big house by yourself? <laughs> I'm like, uh, because I live with my parents. So, yes, I do not live in this big house with three cars by myself. Even mom, even when I go out into the garage, people are like, why do you have so many cars? <laughs> like... <laughs> or they're like why do you have a corvette do you drive that and i'm like actually that's not that's not mine so um yeah so those are my parents you guys have officially met both of them what is the biggest financial issue you run into in your business um with keeping your finances organized so in the comments below answer the question what is your biggest financial stress in business in staying organized Yes, answer that question. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.